Hey guys, what's up? This is my, um, I want to say new um, way of growing algae. So I have a solar panel here that charges that solar panel down there. That's an air pump. And I'm always feeding the algae air or whatever CO2 is in the air. Algae grows pretty good. As you can see, I've only had this growing for a week. And look at all the algae that's in here. Same thing with this bottle too. Now I do have a third bottle, but I combined all the algae that I was collecting from the bottles into one. And then I'm gonna take out that water, which is this guy right over here. Fly flew in there, but that's okay. More carbon, don't really care. I got another experiment going on later, but as you can see, that's all the algae that I harvested out of these three bottles. And um, takes about a month to get that much algae. I don't know if that's really bad or good, but here was a previous month. So it's settled out, you know, there's still some water content, but that's fine. I want to leave that in there. I want to see if I can use enough heat and pressure to turn that into an oil. But, um, yeah, this is my uh, new solar um, algae experiment. It's not the tubes that you've seen me do in the past nine years ago. But I will get back to that once I have my own place. Right now we're renting this place out, so I have to keep it small, but I'm still going. I'm trying to scrub out CO2 out of the atmosphere using algae. Of course, in the future, I'll be using other uh, algae scrubbing methods like caustic soda. Um, there's one company that I really like that uses resins that you find in water purification and uh, you can filter out carbon dioxide that way and as a matter of fact if you wet the filter then it releases the carbon dioxide that was within it so again there's my air pump it's fully charged uh, this guy helps it fully charge here. There's the information, the model number, if you guys are interested in building your own kind of setup here. But it's just a regular air pump, solar panel um, module. But I did add two batteries in here, as you can see where it's kind of split open down there because it wouldn't seal right. But I added the two 3.7 volts lithium, what is it, 18650, I think those batteries are. Um, and they're both, if I'm not mistaken, 3200 mini amps or 3.2 amps if, you, if I'm doing that conversion right. But anyways, it, it lasts for quite a while. I've only had to charge that solar panel with the wall outlet once every, well, just once really, uh, that was four months ago. So other than that, the system in the sun hasn't been able to keep up with itself without me having to intervene. But uh, any questions, comments, leave it down in the section. If you like what I'm showing, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, share with your friends. Thanks very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.